Hello, another fat bearded man talking about records, um, otherwise known as Headley. This is my uh, response video to Andy Cloudy Milder's 300 subs contest. Uh, 300 subs is an awful lot of people really, considering we're only talking about records. So um, yeah, kudos to you for getting there to 300. Um, so three questions you've asked. You've asked us to choose um, three of our favourite uh, oh, uh, third albums by bands. Uh, you've asked us to choose uh, three albums by bands with three in the title or um, an album title with the, uh, with the, the, the number three in it or um, an album with a song on it um, with three uh, in it. Uh, and then thirdly, uh, and probably more problematic for me, is um, the third... Uh, lineup of a band. Now I'm finding this quite hard to do actually, so I'm going to start with this one, and I'm going to be really cheeky. Now um, he's given us extra points for doing more than one, um, but I'm actually going to do one of these. And the band I'm going to, or the album I'm going to show, is Dodgy. It's a bit dark, isn't it? I'm sorry. Um, this is Dodgy, stand upright in a cool place. Now Dodgy were basically a, a trio of uh, uh, Nigel Clark, uh, Andy Miller and uh, Matthew Priest. Um, they went and did three albums and after their third album, Free Peace Suite, uh, they kind of imploded and um, Nigel Clark wanted to go off on his own uh, and do his own stuff uh, and so he left the band. They tried to soldier on and they brought in a, uh, a guy called Dave uh, Bass Bassey. Dave Bassey and uh, so that was the second version of the band they also brought in a, um, a bass player and keyboards as well um, and incidentally they they played at my uh, uh, university summer ball and I woke up in the morning to find Dave Bassey in my kitchen after being brought home by my flatmate nice chap anyway um, anyway so then they they did one album and uh, then they they kind of went parted and went their separate ways and then uh, years later, uh, they kind of the original lineup got together. This is a bit cheeky, isn't it? So it's it is the third lineup of Dodgy, and it's the original lineup um, of Matthew Priest on drums, uh, Nigel Clark on vocals and bass, and uh, uh, Andy Miller on guitar. So that's a bit of a cheat, that. But I'm going to get thought I'd get it out of the way really quickly. So that's Dodgy, stand upright in a cool place. Actually, this is. Um, uh, there were 300, you probably got, it's too tiny, you won't be able to see that. There were 300 copies of this album, uh, and this is 137 of those. So there you go, there's some more threes for you. Okay, so, next one. Um, we're going to do uh, bands, no, oh, I'm going to, favourite, favourite, um, favourite bands, uh, third albums. Okay, so, let's start with... Calexico Hot Rail. Um, this is their clearly their third album. That's why I'm showing it. Um, a bit of uh, um, Latiny mariachi tinged Americana. Um, sort of again, it's much like their second album, their breakthrough album, Black Light. It's kind of like a soundtrack to an imaginary uh, film. Very sort of spaghetti westerny. Um, a great album. Um, with a pretty awful cover. I actually like the, the, the same artist's other, other covers, but this one's just awful, I think. Anyway, so that is Calexico uh, Hot Rail. Okay. I know this one, this one will please um, uh, uh, the Vinyl Professor. Um, so, Squeeze, Argy Bargy, this is their third album. Uh, this is the album that I think really coalesced them, uh, Glenn Tilbrook and Chris Difford as a writing force. Uh, yes, they'd had some hits earlier with um, their previous album, Call for Cats, but this is, I think, the one that really kind of, they come alive, they get, they're, they're, they're sort of socially um, kind of, they, they, the way they, they they comment on on 
the world around us that we recognise, society that we live in, you recognise it in their writing, and it's more cutting uh, and it's more real than their previous stuff. So, Argy Bargy, third album by Squeeze. Okay, and because I don't um, uh, really do heavy metal, uh, but I did hear you say in your uh, your video, Andy, that there was a band you particularly liked. So I thought I would use that opportunity and show the wedding uh, wedding present, Sea Monsters. It's their third album. Technically, it's it's there are a load of EPs, there are kind of uh, sessions. Um, collections and things but this is um i think their their third studio album um and it's produced or at least recorded by steve albini um so we've got great tracks on it like corduroy and love nest that's got a single somewhere so sea monsters lovely album by the wedding present okay so those are the third albums then i'm going to finish up with the um the three uh, the three in the name or the title. So, I'm going to start with Scott Walker, Scott 3. Very dark, I'm sorry. I need a light over there somewhere. Um, Scott Walker, yeah, Scott 3. Um, it is his third album. And, well, I suppose, if you don't count the Walker Brothers, but it's his third album and um, it's got three in the title as well, handily. Uh, again, this is this is an album that that really he came into his own um, kind of uh, his a lot of them songs were written by him uh, for the first time. Uh, Big Louise is probably a great one on here, and Thirtieth Century Man, which I think was sampled or was used in a film or something like that. Anyway, so Scott Walker, Scott Three, um, first CD, Alabama Three, uh, Exile on Cold Harbor uh, uh, Lane. Uh, I could show you. The the seven uh, twelve inch of um, of woke up this morning, which for those of you who don't know was the, um, the the theme music to the Sopranos. This is a marvelous album, um, as they call it. Do they call it um, acid house country music, soul music, or something like that? Um, yeah, I've been looking for this on on vinyl. I know it, there there was a repress not so long ago. Uh, if when I got some free cash, I might actually pick that up because it's, it's it's an album I'd like on vinyl. Um, I think Steve had it. If you're listening, Steve, give it to me. Give it to me. That sounded wrong. Don't give it to me. Uh, so, Alabama three. Okay. So you, uh, Andy, you said uh, go. You know, use our imagination. Uh, be inventive about how we're going to do this. And uh, I saw you put your. Um, uh, your hit parade uh, wedding present singles together so I thought I'd, I'd have a go at that myself so this is going to be a bit of a, a, a round the houses way to get to the uh, number three okay so bear with me I don't know how this is going to go we're going to start with Magnetic Fields 69 then we're going to have The Tide twice so Two times 69 is 138. 138 divided by six string drag, and this is their album Hi Hat, gives us 23. So 23 plus Highway 61 Revisited by Dylan uh -huh, gives us 84. 84 minus 13 Cities by Richmond Fontaine. I can't really, ah, oh, that's probably the best. Yeah, gives us 71. 71 minus 29 by Ryan Adams gives us 42. 42 times the beta band Hot Shots 2 <laughs> gives us 84. 84 minus Lost Super 7, heard it on the X, Tex-Mex Americana, that gives us 77. Take away another 7 for uh, Corner Shop uh, when I was born for the seventh time. Gives us 70. Divided by 10 songs, sorry, 10 new songs by Leonard Cohen gives us 7. Plus, 
16 horsepower uh, sackcloth and ashes, Gothic Americana, uh, gives us uh, 23 minus 12 songs by Neil Diamond, produced by Rick Rubin. That's probably the nearest we're going to get to heavy metal. Um, uh, so that gives us, what are we up to? Uh, 11. Take away 10 Benson, uh, six fingers of Benson. I'm going with the 10, not the six, which gives us one. One plus 12 Golden Country Greats by Ween. Gives us 13. 13 minus Scott Four. Uh, works Project e uh, LP. Sort of uh, indie um, electronica kind of shuffling stuff. Um, gives us nine. Take away five leave left by um, Nick Drake. Gives us four. And wait for it. Take away want one by Rufus Wainwright. Ba -ba -ba -bom. Gives us three. There you go. That wasn't really worth it, was it? Oh well, never mind. Um, thanks Andy for putting this together. Um, here's to 400 subs. Uh, I'm looking forward to you showing me um, some uh, heavy metal music that maybe might be, might be up my street. So uh, I'll be looking out for it. Come on. What's a starter album? I, I, I like a bit of um, Iron Maiden. Yeah, I quite like them. Um, Sepultura, not quite so much. Pantera? Nah. Anyway, so if I like Iron Maiden, what might I like? So there's one for you. Um, okay, so uh, on that note, I'm sorry about that last one. Uh, it was just a joke, really. So, bye-bye um, <laughs> for now.